Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be doing my 2019 goals for booktube. So I know it has been a hot minute since I have filmed the video but things have been so crazy and hectic since Thanksgiving. I lost someone that was very very close to me and it's just you know you know how things get when things like that happen. So and I just wasn't really inspired to do um, any filming or anything like that, but today was a good day. I did some last minute Christmas shopping and all that good stuff. So I just decided to go ahead and just film this video. I really wanted to get it out before it got too late. So let's just get started with it. I don't want this to be a pretty long video, but who knows? I... So the first thing I want to talk about is Driving the Librarians. Um, I will still be doing that show in 2019. Um, you guys know I've been doing it for the past couple of years and I absolutely love it. Um, it started out with Julie from Pages and Pens and then Lauren and I. And then the second year it was just Lauren with doing the show with me. And then this next year Lauren is no longer able to do it. But I do have another lady that's going to be doing it with me. She is so, so very sweet. Her name is Kim. I've only, we've only corresponded through the phone. But um, she sounds like she has this very genuine bubbly personality and I really feel like she's going to be great with job and librarians and she's also a librarian as well um but I was thinking about doing something a little bit different than what we previously been doing I know we've just been doing like the book talks and things like that but I wanted to add more things so for this year in January we're going to be doing talking about um our most anticipated book for 2019 new releases um, things that we're very excited for, for is within the bookish community, and also, um, talk about different, um, things going on within the library community as well, about, you know, programming and all that stuff, and it's not going to be just, you know, we're just going to touch on those different topics, the latter parts that I just talked about, but the majority of the show will be about the, our, fav our favorites, what we're waiting on, all of that good stuff that I can't wait to talk about because I have a good lengthy list. I don't know how long her list is, but mine is long, and I feel like it's going to be a really good show. And also, I would like to incorporate other booktubers that would like to take part in the show as well. Um, when we do our, when we do have our monthly book talk with it, um, I would like to have that. Um, other booktubers discussing the book with us as well. We do it's a live show, so we do interact with everyone. But you know, I just want to add guests to the show as well. Also, I am friends with some local authors, and um, I would like to have them come on and just you know maybe do a Q&A just things like that just something different than what we've been used to when we just had you know the monthly show um talking about books well or talking about books but you know just doing like a book discussion I wanted to just add a little bit more and just to see how it goes and if you know if it's not like everybody's cup of tea and everyone prefer us to just do that then maybe we'll go back to just doing that but it just doesn't hurt to you know try that's for job in the library. So I'm going to talk about my reading goal. So I use Goodreads to keep track of my books that I want to read, that I have read, and that I'm currently reading. And also I use the, the yearly goal tracker. And I, every, since the past few years, I will always um, do maybe about 50 or probably less than that. Like this year I did 35. And the reason behind that is because... I want to read, you know, a lot of books. I admire people that read like a hundred and more books a year. I aspire to be like that. And when I put a hundred books down and then get to a point, let's say in the middle of the year, when it tells me that I should have read this many books or um, this many books behind, that can get be a little bit intimidating for me. And I don't want to see that. You know, I don't want to use that to determine my books and that cause me to rush to try to meet a goal, like a numeral goal for that, instead of just enjoying the books, because everybody does not read as fast as everyone does. We have our own different reading pace. So I decided not to do, you no, know, not to just hold myself to that. I still do it just for the sake of just, you know, putting, for the fun of it. But um, it doesn't really matter to me if I meet that goal or not. I just want to read the 
books, but I do know at least 52 books will be read because I review for redhotbooks.com and I have to review a book every week. So, yeah, at least 52 books will be read. So, um, also I review for School Library Journal, so that's like three books out of the year that I will have to read. So that's, you know, what, 55? And, you know, the rest or so will be just books that I personally would like to read. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to hold myself accountable for, you know, trying so hard to read 100 books a year or more. And I just want to have fun with it, which should be everybody's goal for it. But, um, you know, especially with contemporaries, I can read those like nobody's business. So maybe I will get to the 100, one, 100 mark. But the bottom line is I'm not going to shoot for a number. For the end of the year i'm just gonna just go with the flow for it but i know for a fact that i will read at least 52 books because of reviewing it for a website also what i want to try to do is to incorporate biographies i whenever i do tend to steer away from fiction i do read a few biographies i'm not going to just you know when I, whenever i'm going through the books i want to read for that month I'm not going to be like, okay, I need to add a biography to this. If there isn't one that piques my interest during that month or at that time, I'm not going to force myself to find a biography just because I said I wanted to get into more biographies. But there are some really good ones that are coming out next year that I would love to read. Right now, I'm waiting on uh, Michelle Obama's Becoming book. I can't wait to read that. And, you know, it sounds like it's going to be so good. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. But it's just like one of those that come and go things. Because the majority of the books, well, I would say 99.9 .9 of the books that I read are fiction and never nonfiction. So I do kind of want to dive myself into um, books outside of fiction as well. So we'll just see how they go. But like I said, the bottom line is just to have fun with the books. So another goal of mine is to um, read more classics. Not like the Jane Austen type of thing. I personally love classics like Edgar Allan Poe, um, Frankenstein, Dracula, those type of things. Right now, I do have um, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and I can't think of the author's name, Oscar Wilde. I think that's his name. Please don't shoot daggers at me if I said his name wrong. But those are the type of classics that I kind of want to read. Those little dark gothy, gritty type of classics. And I've already read um, Frankenstein and Dracula. And so, you know, and I loved it. It's so different from what, you know, where I read now. And it's just, ugh, that's a whole nother video. But um, I loved reading those. And so I do want to incorporate classics with what I do read. Um, Edgar Allan Poe is one of my favorite authors. And I still have not read all of his works. There's still plenty more that I really want to get my hands on. But I always find myself rereading the books that he wrote that I personally like. Like A Telltale Heart. You guys have known that I have raved about that story so many times. that I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But yeah, I always find myself rereading my favorite books that he wrote. But he has so many more, especially his poems. I want to, you know, get into and read those as well. So that's what I talk about when I say classics. I'm not really into the the gushy romantic ones but yeah i like the dark greedy type of classics horror ones i guess i would say it and i did say i want to read more horror but it's not really horror it's more like that suspense that thriller type of thing i mean dracula i believe was horror but i didn't feel like it it didn't scare me or anything but um yeah that's that's why I like. That's why I want to read more of. So as far as uploading content on the channel, I do not know my work schedule. My work schedule will be changing. So however my work schedule is, that will affect my filming schedule because I can always schedule videos to upload. One video in particular that I know I will be filming is Top 5 Wednesday. I love filming that. It's so much fun. And that's a video that you can look forward to every Wednesday, unless it's just something that I just don't have the answers to. But I will try my best to fit the answers in how they would work for me. I do, 
I personally like watching book review videos. I know it's not the most watched videos, but because I'm a librarian and I have to search out these videos to add to uh, my collection. And so that's why I per I like to watch those videos. And also it gives me recommendations of what I would like to read as well. But for the majority part, I look at book reviews on YouTube to figure out what type of books to add to the collection at the library. So I would like to do more or yeah do more of um, book review videos i won't do a lot maybe about one or two a month um because like i said i know they don't get washed a lot but there may be a librarian out there that you know needs that or someone is not a librarian and they like watching those videos i still want to have one of those and they may be like a weekend video like a saturday video something like that or a Monday video. I'm not quite sure how I want it to go, but I am going to be doing book review videos as well. I would love to participate in more readathons. I loved contemporary thon. I hate I miss modathon, but um, I believe contemporary thons come up again in February, and I loved, loved, loved it when I was doing it um, in September or October. No, thank you. It was in the fall. I was in the fall and I absolutely loved it so much. I am a new adult trash. I love new adult contemporary romances. It's just, yes, I love it so much. So I would love to participate in um, more Britathons as well. I know Book 2 Athon is in the summertime, I think. I don't know if it's more than one round of that. I think it's just one round, but I would love to participate in that. So if you know of any other type of Britathons, that um, you think I would be interested in, comment them down below and um, I would try my best to, you know, try to fit that into my schedule because I do want to participate more. As well as tags. I love to watch book tags, especially, they're, they're just so funny. I thought they're icebreakers, you know, to kind of, um, you know, get you back into like your little filming spirit, I guess for me, because I hadn't really been inspired. I've been watching a lot of tag videos and it's just like, to kind of, it's like a filler just to kind of pump you up when you need to be pumped up. And I just feel like there's so much fun to film and to do. So I would love to do more tags. Um, I would love to, you know, make more booktube friends as well. It's just, it's a lot that that whole thing encompasses. And as far as my personal growth with the channel, I want that to, you know, expand, you know, expand more. So I hope all that made sense. At least it, I think thought it did in my head when I was thinking it through but I hope all that makes sense but yeah I'd love to participate in all of that type of stuff so another goal of mine which I haven't talked about on this channel but I am currently uh, I am writing a story I started um this summer I started it and I have fallen in love with it I have not been doing it lately like I wanted to, like how I should, but um, I, you know, my character just talking to me and talking to me, and I just was finding myself writing all the time, and I have slacked so much in that area. But um, a goal of mine is to do more writing, is to do writing vlogs, and I'd like to, you know, show you into my writing world, I guess, because. It is something that I want to be. I would love to become a published author one day. And um, I really want to have... My goal is to have my book finished by the end of next year. And I know it will take a lot of commitment, a lot of dedication to this. I know that full-heartedly, I know that it will take all of that. And I'm so prepared to do that. Um, right now, I am getting all of my... Um, journals and things ready because I also love to journal and I have a specific journal that will be with me every day I will carry it with me every day so anytime I'm feeling inspired to write something down I will write it down so I don't forget anytime my characters are talking to me I'm going to have it so I can write it down and then get ready to go home and you know type it on a computer or you know just getting my thoughts together with that I want to stay consistent with that I want to be held accountable for that and, you know, do what, I, what it takes to meet my goal and my dream of becoming a published author or, you know, to, just to get this book written. That's like the number one thing is just to get this first draft written. I want to do that 
for myself. So that is all for my 2019 goals. What are your goals that you have for your um, booktube channel or any channel in particular or just for yourself um, that you have? Comment them down below. I would love to read your goals and your ambitions and your dreams and all that stuff that you um, would like to have and to accomplish within the next year. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.